and welcome back to another action packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And tonight, my brothers and sisters, this video is coming courtesy of Spice and Easy. Now, I think this is my sixth or seventh video for them. We've got a playlist. They've got their very own playlist on this channel, Spice and Easy. Right, I will, as always, put a link to their channel in the description, a link to their website in the description, so you can actually buy these curry packs. Now, I think they're only available in the UK, but today, we're doing Spice and Easy Vindaloo. I'll put it there for a second, right? But not any old Vindaloo, because they said, it says, any meat that you choose. So today, Matthew, <laughs> I'm choosing lamb's liver. Now that sounds weird and sounds to a lot of you guys out there. Lamb's liver is minging, but not to me, right? I had to make sure I wonder where I threw it. Hang on. No, it's fine. I thought I'd throw it in fucking frying pan, but I didn't. That would have been a, I could scare us. Right, digressing. Uh, we're all to, yeah, brothers and sisters, I'm doing a lamb's liver. Bindaloo. Now, if you're using lamb's liver, you, you know what I mean, you want to cook it like you would do. If you're doing liver and onions, and I've got some liver here with four nice slices, and it's been soaking in just ordinary milk for about three, four hours. And it's supposed to take away the uh, harshness of the liver. Well, we'll see, won't we? And we've got some flour. Oh, and it's gone everywhere. Uh, that has got black pepper, salt, and garlic in so I'm going to season these up and before we put them in the frying pan. You know what I mean? I don't expect you to watch me do this because I'm going to end up getting covered in shit as per usual. Plus this also gives you your uh, lamb's liver a nice little good crust on it. You've got to have a bit of good crust on your liver, haven't you? That's if you like liver. A lot of you guys now are spewing your ring up, aren't you? Right, it's time for the lamb's liver. Now, I want to do this gently because I don't want to take the heat out of the pan. Even though, I'll say it out of the fill. Even though it's a copper stone pan, you know what I mean, it gets really, really hot. I do not want to boil this liver, if you, you know what I mean. I want it to see and I want to get a crust on it. Give it a second, give it a second, let it warm up, let it warm up a minute. Before I add the last one in. There we are. Four slices of good quality New Zealand lamb's liver. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not using English, because we have New Zealand at work, and New Zealand lamb is the dog's bollocks, right? I don't give a fuck what anyone says, I'm wiping my top down because I'm a scruffy bastard. I don't care what anyone says, New Zealand lamb, Australian lamb, is an absolute delight to eat. Because end of the day, what are you going to do? You're going to eat it or fucking talk to it. Right now, if you can hear me, over that beautiful sizzle. This lamb's liver smells out of this world. But we need to turn it, don't we? And that one's due to that one, you bastard. Right, not anymore, it's not. But yet again, I'm going in left-handed. Because otherwise, it'd be a big fat hand over here in front of the camera, won't it? And on the spice packs, it does say on the method, you can see your pan, you're eating a separate pan. But I want to keep all the flavour in one pan, so I'm not doing that. So I'm going to give this about another three, four minutes, I'm going to tear that out, and then we're going to throw our onions right in. Right, my brothers and sisters, that is the lamb's liver coming out of the pan. 
and that is seasoned. And you see that you got the fucking, you got the goodness there of the lamb's liver on the bottom. Also, it'll make a jerk. Onions in. Now, I want to get the onions that will pick all that lamb's liver goodness up. Now, a lot of you be thinking this is disgusting, but I'll tell you now, this will be mighty fucking fine. Also, I actually don't know how hot this is. It could also uh, send me blind like the Reaper XX. Uh, that, that, I, I, that's also a possibility. So that's our onions. Softened. And now I have to add this Vindaloo Spice Pack. Now, it smells quite spicy, but no, nowhere near as spicy as the Reaper XX. And I will re reiterate... I've never ever had anything as hot as that Reaper XX. Now we've got to make a paste out of this. We're going to add splashes of water. Now I thought there was quite a bit of juice in there, but obviously not enough. So we're going to make a paste. Get all them juices up. It's not hitting me back and throat like the other one, but uh, it definitely smells a bit fruity. <laughs> I'm on the Fiona. You try to kill me again, aren't you? Do you know what? You're not gonna you're not gonna be satisfied until I'm in a fucking wooden box, are you? Yeah? Death by spice and easy. My god. Right, that is lucky. A, a bit more water, a bit more, a bit more. There you go. That'll do it. And I will keep stirring this and then we'll be back to next step. Now the next step involved tomato puree. Until coming to cut this, I realised I didn't have any. So we're going to have to use a cheap tomato ketchup. I'm sorry if it offends you. But that'll do. So I've got to stir that in as well. Tomato ketchup, you know what? I don't think it's going to make much difference to... Uh, the overall heat or the taste of this, I'll be honest. Well, yeah, I think we're, ne we're ready for the next step. And that, my brothers and sisters, is a can of chopped tomatoes. Now, that has took a bit of the heat out of the pan, which I think it needed because I didn't want it to stick. I didn't want it to caramelise, I didn't want it to burn. So the tin, the shinch, the shish, the shish you might is you in. Uh, I sound like I've had a, a skinful and uh, in actual fact I'm not even had a, a drop of alcohol yet. So I'll mix this in. And then uh, we, we'll be ready for the half a pint. Or I might not put half a pint of water in because it's quite juicy this anyway. But uh, I'll be back in five minutes. Now, we're going to go in with half a pint of water. And there it is. I actually did need the full half pint. And if anyone, you know I mean, you saw that, you'd actually realise I actually used a baby bowl to get half a pint of water. But I realise now why we need it juicy like this, because we're going to have potato, which is going in any second. Next step. Potatoes. I've never put potatoes in the curry before, but hey, that's what Spicy and Easy said you have to do. Also, they said uh, dis, uh, white wine vinegar, but I ain't got it. But also it says malt vinegar will do. That's all I'm putting in there. Uh, if it was white wine vinegar, I would have put a little bit more in. But obviously malt vinegar is a lot more harsher, so I've uh, halved it. So what I've got to do now is I'm going to let this simmer for 10 to 15 minutes just so them potatoes soften. And then I'm going to add the lamb's liver back in and uh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there, brothers and sisters. We're nearly there to see me fucking die on camera again. Do you know what? That is bubbling absolutely beautifully. Now, unfortunately, if you can hear the background, I can't, I can't control uh, the natural noise of a house, right? With kids in it. 
But I'm going back in with our lamb's liver. Because I want this to cook and simmer a bit longer. Now the crusty add-on is kind of coming away, but it don't matter. And that's it. You see, hey, it's come out there. There we go. Right, maybe using the flour on the lamb's liver in this it was a bit of a mistake. But hey, we're going to leave that there for another 10 minutes. And uh, I'm going to clean the uh, white towels at the back of the oven because it's splattered in shit. Right, that curry is nearly done. The lamb's liver is hiding under there. Now it says optional, you can put salt and pepper to taste. Now there's a lot of salt and there's a lot of pepper and there's a lot of garlic actually in the pan when I seared the uh, lamb's liver. Also in, you know, from the, uh, the uh, flour. So I'm not going to add any more salt and pepper. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave that for 10 minutes now simmering like that. Bubbling. Like the bogger stench from blue, what was it called? Dark crystal. And then I'm going to get me, my, me rice in the microwave and I'm going to dish this fucker up. Well, there it is. My lamb's liver vindaloo. Now, I'm just going to get in here and slide it down my gizzard. But we're here for the lamb's liver, aren't we? So we're going to get... It is still... Oh, that lamb's liver's falling apart. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Caught it. Oh, I've just had a drink of... Drink of Carlsberg Exports. And, mm, right, get it down me. Get it down me, gizzard. Now... The taste of lamb's liver has not been lost there. I love lamb's liver. You might not. But I'll tell you what. There's no better way than using offal and making a good curry. Mm. You know what? We need to get, we need to get some of that curry proper. Look at that vindaloo. From spice and easy, that is going down my gizzard again. Mm. Potatoes, beautiful. Now, for heat, yeah. Uh, it, if you don't like spicy things or hot stuff, do not touch this. The Reaper XX makes this like a Vindaloo. Uh, sorry, like a Karma. But honest to God, the, the taste, everything, it's there. It's just, it's just fucking beautiful. Big lump of lamb's liver. Out of this world. Coated in vindaloo. Now, I do think I made the right decision to make that lamb's liver a curry with spices easy, vindaloo. I'm gonna polish all that off. But not right now on camera. Otherwise we'll be here about 20 minutes, it'll be a fucking mukbang. Right, let's get back up here. Right, my brothers and sisters. That was Spice and Easy's Vindaloo Spice Mixer used. And I used it with lamb's liver. And honest to God, it was hot. Right? If you don't like hot stuff, do not try that. I can eat that. In fact, I've got it there. And I'm going to finish it off with my tea. Because it was fantastic. Absolutely out of this world. The taste, everything. 
the spice, the heat in the back of the throat is good. Uh, as you can tell with that, compliments to the chef. Like I said, the link to their channel will be in the description. The link to their website will also be in the descriptions where you can buy that. You can buy umpteen different packs. It's entirely up to you. They're cheap and they are good, right? That's all I'm saying. I like that, even though it was hot. But it was nowhere near the fucking Reaper XX. But if you like this, press like. Comment, share on all your social media, and subscribe. And become a family member of Hashtag Team CT. B, well I fucking love you.